what is power density in motors so power density is the amount of power that a motor can do, can deliver per given volume so at 2000 watt as an example a motor that was 100 cubic centimeters would have a higher power density than a motor that was 200 cubic centimeters obviously that's based on the fact that both motors would be delivering 2000 watt um, why is it important it's in increasingly important um, to be to be completely honest as different types of applications are being developed such as drones or robotics anything like that that's sort of battery powered um, power density is is being huge is hugely important for those equally applications where size is obviously restricted again so it doesn't have to be battery powered certain types of robotics that may be handling a lot of power as they move but not have a particularly large area where they can fit a motor that's going to be very important there it is sometimes used as a shorthand where actually people mean um, the power to weight ratio but again that's it's not always the case but it's just sometimes and it's it's also important to remember that you know because the construction of motors is based on fairly standard technology that if you have an improved power density you're also likely to have an improved power to weight ratio not always the case but generally speaking so fundamentally you know the higher the power density the more the more power a motor can deliver for a given volume so any application whereby that is going to be important uh, space is going to be important sorry um, power density is going to be a key factor so again, just to just to distinguish between power density and power to weight ratio. So the power density is a measure of the amount of power that a motor can deliver for a given unit volume. So, you know, watts to cubic centimeters, for example. Um, power to weight is the same thing, but instead of volume, it's referring to the, the weight. So the, a measure of the amount of power that a motor can deliver per given unit of weight. Um, so. As I've touched on before, applications that it's most relevant for is predominantly things like battery powered applications where um, they are looking at a number of uh, factors, so drones being a, being a main one, um, equally any sort of robotics or uh, agritech, for example, is another one where size is restricted and there's a need to make sure that the power density is, is, is good. Um, in other applications it's always a useful measure to know what you're getting but it may be less important than other performance factors especially because you know improved power density tends to come with uh, higher costs so it's something that you, you don't want to be paying for unless you need it but obviously if you do need it um, then it will be worth paying for because of the benefits that it can give you.